A cope can be broken down into five steps, as seen in this slide. Number one, try to ward off even discussing the issue in the first place. Number two, deny the issue exists, downplay its significance or scope, find ways to explain it away as nothing out of the ordinary. Number three, try to reverse the issue back on the person who raises it, this is a you problem. Number four, accept the issue exists, but then try to point out some other casual factor which minimises and normalises the issue. Number five, finally, when all else fails, result to the complex complex and claim the issue is so irreducibly complex that we'll never understand it. So now we all know what a cope is. Number one, try to ward off even discussing the issue in the first place. Frankly, I'd rather avoid the mudslinging and sniping of YouTube drama as much as possible, as I'd rather focus my time and energy on contents and issues that I find personally interesting. Number two, deny the issues exist, downplay its significance or scope, find ways to explain it away as nothing out of the ordinary. Well, I started my channel in March of 2018, with a focus on discussing what I feel are issues from within the trans community. Contra acknowledged what is effectively my mission statement, but then strongly implied that my channel is instead focused on cringe content, highlighting the name of my weekly series, Trans Stupid, the Pillars of the Community video I made on Chris Chan, and my coverage of Jessica Yaniv, to paint me as someone who focuses on mockery rather than commentary. This, of course, is hugely disingenuous. Number three, this is a you problem. In her one hour and 23 minute video, Contra talks at length about cringe from a seemingly neutral standpoint, but let's be clear, those 83 minutes of fabulous costumes and academic language are an excuse to do what she accuses myself, Blair, Calvin and others of doing, attacking trans people we don't like for our own personal gain. Number four, accept the issue exists, but then try to point to some other casual factor which minimises and normalises the issue. She was also critical because I made a video on Chris Chan back in August last year, telling her audience I did so because Chris is a bad transgender. There is a bad transgender in our midst. The bad transgender is not a real transgender like me. <laughs> I'm getting pretty tired of this. Anyone who watched it would know that this wasn't the purpose of the video, but rather an in-depth look at a notable and highly chronicled internet personality to determine whether or not Chris is actually trans. And despite the abundance of Chris Chan related online content, this was the first video, as far as I know, to approach the subject in a sensitive manner. As a side note, Contra's understanding of the Chris Chan phenomenon is weak at best. As for the final cope, when all else fails, resort to the complex complex and claim the issue is so irreducibly complex we'll never understand it. Due to the excessive length of Contra's video, I won't be addressing every point she raised, nor will I focus on ridiculous skits that would make even Doug Walker blush, but Contra misrepresented me and my channel to an audience of hundreds upon thousands, and it seems to be very telling why she did that.